Liz Browning Fox interviewed her mother, Dixie Burris Browning, in July of 2014 about Dixie's brother and first cousin and their songwriting careers as boys. They were musicians. My brother, Steve Burris, my first cousin, Calvin Burris Jr. We called him Junie. They were, I don't know, 10, 11, 12, 13. They were very musical. They were professional players in that they sat on uh, one of these wooden drink carton things in the beacon and played for square dances along with the lo other local musicians. They wrote songs. I would listen to them playing upstairs in Steve's room, not where they could see me, but I could watch and listen and listen and see where they put their fingers on those $10 guitars. And then when they'd go out to play in the slash, I'd go get the guitar, try to remember how to put your fingers and how to do this and how to do that. I eventually learned to play, but never very well, never as well as they did. One of the songs they wrote, I'm sure they wrote this one because I heard them doing it, it was about old Sam Johnson. Some of the phrases in here might be kind of strange to you. For instance, he had an acknowledgement on his head. Well, there were such things as knowledge bones. A bump on somebody's head was called a knowledge bone. But anyway, uh, this one came out something like this. Old Sam Johnson was a machinery cook. He had an idea of his own. Had an acknowledgement on his head was the size of an old ham bone. Built himself an airship he surely thought would fly. Gonna show those common fools a new way of flying high. Oh, Sam set out one after eve, a quarter after seven. Barometer in the shady land was a hundred and eleven. The balloon exploded with a terrible burst, and Sam began to pray. And as he passed toward the earth, the angels heard him say, Oh, let me, let me, let me down easy, Lord, and you'll never see me here no more. I'll go to church and read a good book like it's never been read before. Ain't gonna build no more machinery things unless the good Lord gives me a pair of wings. Let me, let me, let me down easy, Lord, and you'll never see me here no more.